third one I hope but oh my goodness I love Lego. I love trains. This is a train, but it's not Lego. In fact, the track that is here is not even Lego. So this is a Mold King locomotive, a mallard with a car. And it comes with a, a, a track, a, an oval of track, uh, but it doesn't work. But before I talk too much, about, first of all, I didn't buy this. They sent this to me. It's not Mold King, but a distributor for Mold King. I'm going to tell you how I feel about all this in a minute. But I have not actually drove this thing around the track one complete time. So let me do this. I've got to turn this thing on. It's remote control. has lights. Supposedly there's some smoke that comes out from water drops. I just put the water in. I hope it's water you're supposed to put in there. I have not. This thing could blow up. So let's just make this go before the batteries die. It's going. I don't believe it. Let me get it back around where it's in camera shot. All right, so that's one time around the track. I'm going to put a camera car on the back of this uh, now. So it's got forward. I don't know if this does anything. No, I don't guess it does. But you have to hold the button down for it to go. It's not one of those things where you can just push it and it goes. You got to hold it. As soon as I let off the button, it stops. Unless there's, it goes backwards too. All right. So this right here. The track that is on is actually this FX Bricks FX track. It's uh, 72 radius. It's, it's a little wider radius. It's like the next wider from uh, Lego track, which the Mold King track is the same radius, but my locomotive would not work with the Mold King track. I've watched other videos that some very unusual people <laughs> have done. Uh, uh, one guy took the, both the front wheels and the back guide wheels off in order to get it to go. Oh look, it's starting to make smoke. Maybe that's from the engine overheating. I wonder if I should put more water in there. You can see a water droplet on there. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I'll try. It, it comes with this thing here to put, put the, the water in. So yeah, it, it, you know, it is, it really, it's okay that it has to have the wider radius track. It just should have come with it. <laughs> it should have come with a wider radius track because it would not work um, with the other track. Come on, let's see some smoke out of you. It's not smoking. It is running. I can't believe it's gone this long. Battery's already think getting weak. All right, so this is uh, the instruction manual. Uh, the T1, not T1. I say it, it was the the big boy. No, whatever. Yeah, it was a big boy. I tried building. It was a very bad design. Couldn't build it, and it had PDF instructions. This actually does have printed instructions. Mine came damaged. <laughs> Uh, and they, they were clear. There, there was no 
problem except for placement of the electrical parts and I didn't like that so there's some wires because there's a control unit which is right here and this piece right here you have to actually turn the locomotive upside down or pry it open with something because there's this is where the button is <laughs> uh, to turn it on and off and the the wires that go between the, there's a unit here oh now it's making smoke <laughs> it's it's making <laughs> is it sound activated Make smoke. Make smoke. <laughs> Hello. Make smoke. <laughs> but the placement of the wires, they don't really tell you in there. And they just show you the unit. I actually feel like the thing's making smoke when I talk. <laughs> but anyway. So uh, ended up there's some wires in the back of the the locomotive where they're just in the cab area. I couldn't figure out where to place them, so it, that might be on me. Uh, the the uh, well, there's a lot of okay. Let me just tell you the good things. All right, the good things are it, the instructions. Other than the placement of the wires, they were easy to follow. Uh, they you did have to cut some of these hoses. To, in order for them to fit, it didn't really say to cut them, but that they showed the, how long they should be, and they were too long. I swear that thing is going with my voice at times. At times. At times. <laughs> it's very distracting. So, uh, yes, yeah, so you had to cut them, and it says it can, it, it's app control, but I don't feel comfortable downloading the app uh, and putting it on my device. Uh, I'm fine using this, even though it doesn't really work the way it should. Unless I'm missing something, I think you shouldn't have to hold the button. That's a problem. All right. Oh, I was supposed to say the good things. <laughs> so, I get so e easily distracted by the bad things. Uh, it looks, it does, I mean, it doesn't look bad as far as the bricks. Uh, it's not a very stable build. In fact, this piece is already coming apart. I know I built this. Uh, these are actually this this roof comes off, and it's it's just flimsy. See that it, it's got a lot of flexibility to it. In fact, the car kind of leans real bad, and it's got this problem. <laughs> these these well, that one's staying on. Staying on. They come off real easy. The the, the trucks. It was, it was very annoying, very, very annoying, I'm trying to put them on. You have to actually do it upside down. And I always forget if it goes in the second one. Oh man, now the roof's coming off. I think it goes in the third one. So you have to kind of hold them to put it on the track so that the roof, uh, I mean, well, so that the wheels don't fall off. All right. So it's, it's not the most stable build. This thing's a little wob wobbly. Let's see if this thing will... Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Oh, wrong button. I didn't put it on the track all the way. All right. It does have some interior... Oh, goodness. Now it's hit... This is not good. It's got some interior details. It has, like, chairs in there. I think I broke it. Man, oh, I got to turn it on. Oh, I got it upside down. <laughs> All right, I say the good things. Okay, the number one good thing is that it's eight wide. I wish Lego would uh, make a eight wide um, subset of Lego trains. I'm fine with them. Can I mean, Lego trains started six wide. This actually is from the 70s, not from the first Lego trains, but it's always been six wide. Uh, it's always been the same length of track, same radius of the curved track, so I'm fine with that. And again, this isn't a Lego product, so it doesn't matter. But um, I wish Lego, the company, would make eight wide um, trains uh, for collectors. It'd be much more expensive, and maybe that's one way that re one reason they stay away from it. Uh, but the, again, this is not Lego bricks. It's the they're not as good quality. There's the instructions again are not 
made by Lego designers, so th there's a lot of instability. And I'm supposed to be talking about the good things. <laughs> I'm done talking about it. I, uh, the thing that the most annoying thing of all was the sticker. So there's this LENR sticker, and it's the only stickers I applied. The instructions clearly show clear back stickers. I think this is a computer render. Uh, and the guy that sent me this suggested I just cut them out. And it's like, I, I don't want to do that. That's, in fact, I couldn't even, I tried to take this off and it started stretching the sticker. I probably need to get like uh, a blow dryer or something to loosen the glue to take those off. But I only applied these stickers because they look so bad. And every review I've seen of these, including the video from Mold King shows those white back stickers which look terrible i'm like how do you how do you make this image here and just not make clear stickers everybody makes like decals with with clear backing it it, it looks so much better just simple thing simple thing to fix i don't know why they didn't do that uh, but again um i set this up on the dining room table as it came i tried to get it to work it would not uh, I tried to making modifications, and I just made it worse. And I said, well, it goes on the straight, so maybe it's just too narrow uh, a radius. And that's indeed what it was. You, it needs at least R72 or greater track. Uh, so Mold King, uh, that's what I would recommend making. And again, I don't know much about Mold King. I hope, I hope they're not one of these companies that takes... Uh, proprietary information and uses it they may be i don't know i i i it's all everything i said is alleged because i didn't do any research <laughs> and it's still working now this stink uh oh we hit the picture all right so um they i they offered this to me to they even offered me to be in like some kind of affiliate thing where I could get a portion of the sales if people click the link and go buy it. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, it's, I'm not, I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> so uh, they sent it to me. I built it. I have my experience. And based on this experience, uh, as this is, I think I put this thing back in the wrong place. Um, I don't recommend it. And I would not, I would not pay for it. So that's my honest opinion. It has potential. <laughs> it has potential. Um, it has too many negatives to um, recommend it. And this again, just one of the products. But uh, I'm not. And again, I'm not being ugly towards the company. I don't know. And again, don't know anybody that works there. The guy said he was with a distributor that makes all this stuff, but. Um, I'm done with it. <laughs>